My beard has gotten to the point where it like retains water after I get out of the shower, so I have to like brush it out. And I think that this is because I uh, need to trim it back a little bit more. <laughs> Opening beard dialogue complete. <laughs> So it's official. The sun is going down sooner. The first weekend in November, we have to set our clocks back and it's gonna get darker sooner, but it'll be light when I wake up. I don't know what good that's gonna do me, but it'll be light when I wake up. So, and it's also official that we've run out of parks and places to go in this town. So now we have to go a couple of towns over and hopefully we can make it there before the sun goes down. <laughs> I think we can, but we're racing against the clock and this red light's not helping me. This may have been the wrong park to choose. Every car down this road has its hood open. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's kind of the way that you can spot a bad neighborhood, is if every car has its hood open for some reason. I, I don't know. Okay, we're doing better. We've gone from open hood cars to broken lawn chairs in the road. Looking good, looking good so far. I found the park that I was looking for, and boy does it look unpromising. Yes, this park is unpromising. It's like right next to a busy highway and all the grass is dead. But I will admit, it is quite a view. I think I might have to look on the map for something else because this is it. We get a bench. All right. The bench. And it's a broken bench too. It's missing this slat here, so my butt doesn't quite fit on there. Doesn't look much better than this though, but the motorcycle doesn't help. Not as serene as yesterday. Okay, I found directions to what looks to be uh, an un... Uh, what, do you, what do you call that? Like an undeveloped cul-de-sac that is right on the lake. So hopefully it's not in like a gated community or something, but we're gonna go try to find it. Not that that bench wasn't worth the half an hour drive. I'm just saying maybe we could find something else as well. Hooray for turning down some random road in a town that's half an hour away from yours that you don't really know where you're going, but you're trying to find something amazing. Woo! Camelot! It's only a model. Heck yeah, this place is pretty epic. Take a look at this. Some nice, nice undeveloped land right there on the lake. The lake is right there. It smells like a lake. I posted a picture on Daily Booth yesterday of me like out in the middle of this brush area. And you guys are like, ah, oh, or at least Doug was like, did you make sure and look for rattlesnakes? And I was like, no. And now I'm all like getting ready to traipse off into this. And I'm like, rattlesnakes, darn it. I took my glasses off so as to see the rattlesnakes better if they attack me. It's pretty crazy that this is here. Like up at the front of this like little drive here, like you see how that's, all, that's like a dirt cul-de-sac. Up at the front of it, there was a sign that says like three lakefront lots for sale. And I can see it, it's like, one, two, and three, but it amazes me that nobody's bought these yet. Blows my mind. They probably want entirely too much for them. That's probably what's going on here. But look at the, it's, I would get this one with all the oak trees on it. Man, it's so nice right there. And they're already, they're already like set up. Like, I don't know if you can tell what's going on, like how it's raised right there. That's where a house is supposed to be. I'm standing on another raised area. And there's another one right over there. Everything's set up for houses. I, I could build one here. I'll build one. Give me, I'm building a house here tomorrow. I, I'm sorry, I know that this this view, like if that were behind me, it's it's much better than this, but you guys just heard the, heard the wind just then. So I have to have the wind at the back of the camera so that we can hear everybody. But I wanted to, to explain something to you. It looks like rain. That's interesting, where is it? There it is, ooh yeah. But I wanted to explain something to you guys about yesterday. Yesterday, we went to Wakaiva Springs. That, a lot of you guys were like, oh, I like the pool, that pool thing was pretty neat. I like that pool, I wanna go to that pool. That was not a pool. That was a natural spring. Like that came out of the ground and was a, a spring. <laughs> no pool, spring. I, that's, that is what really blew my mind or blows my mind about Florida is that I think I was standing in an anthill, so I have to move a little bit. Is that, it, that's what kind of stuff we have outside of our neighborhoods. This is what kind of stuff we have outside of our neighborhoods. You know, you got like a lake, and you got some random spring crystal clear water. You could go down and drink that. I don't know that I would drink that water because the kids are there peeing and stuff. But I mean, like for the most part, you could drink that water. And it's, it's amazing, I've done it before. I've gone scuba diving down 100 feet down, bam, into a spring. Took the regulator out of my mouth and like, um, 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 drank the water right there because it's perfect. Perfect, freshest water you'll ever have. Not quite as fresh as a mountain stream though, so maybe not as fresh as you could have. Pretty darn close though. I came down a little bit closer to the waterfront 
It's getting a little bit more sketchy in the high grass here, but that's okay. We will, ah! No, I'm just kidding. Just joking, <laughs> gotcha. We are almost to the water. So close, I can touch it. Ta-da! Look at that. We done did it, guys. Hooray! Now I gotta get back up there. Darn it! Well, here, while I'm down here, let me show you guys a little bit of Florida skyline, because it's so pretty to me, and I like it so much. Ah. Well, it's so refreshing. It's a, it's a good breath of fresh air out here, as long as you don't get, like, eaten by something. But you never know. I went ahead and peed on, on, on that tree just so that everybody knew that I was coming back and I'm gonna be living, building houses right here. Eventually, maybe, I'm like 95. Why does it look like my car is much further away? Okay, you guys can't see it, but right over here somewhere there is a sandhill crane flowing by. Those are straight up just dinosaurs. Anytime that I hear one, I'm like, what's going on? Is there a dinosaur coming? Because their call is not like, you know, like a pretty bird, like chirp, 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 chirp. They sound like they go, Anytime that they fly anywhere, that's the noise that they make. Tell me that does not sound like a pterodactyl is coming to bite your face off. I am pretty sure that we made it out of there unscathed. I think. Yeah, even standing out here at the street, like what? Who would want to live there or there? Those are stupid lots. Look at how awesome this one looks. It's like, wah! At least we finally found some place to go, right? And here's the challenge for us to find our way out using only our sense of direction. This is ridiculous. What is going on right there? All right, so that was entirely too easy to do. Oh well. Is this the right? Oh yeah, yeah, we're right. Okay, it was it was too easy. So there's a bail bonds place across the street here, which I think is cool in itself because it's a pawn shop and a bail bonds place up above it. Which, you know, I miss. I've never really been in a town. I don't miss it. I've never been in a town where it's like one shop on the bottom and then you go upstairs to a totally different shop. But the, my favorite part here is it's bail bonds. 24 hours, you ring, we spring. How cool is that? Here's a random question for you guys, and I wanted to know if you guys have this same thing in your towns. I just passed by two pretty big hotels, like maybe 10 or 12 story hotels, and they are just here, on this road, in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around, there's an Arby's and a McDonald's. I don't know why you would need to put a hotel, two hotels there. There are two hotels. Like, what, who stays there and why? Do you guys have random hotels in your towns? Have you guys been watching this whole ordeal unfold on YouTube with Outback Zach, Life in a Tent, and that Eric kid? It's awesome! It's getting fun, except for when that Eric kid totally hacked Life in a Tent's account, which that is terrible. But the rest of it's getting fun. There's a lot of, like, profanity and swearing and yelling at little kids and trolling. There's so much trolling going on, it's amazing! That's why YouTube is so f I know a lot of people don't like trolls. I, for whatever reason, I kind of like trolls because they make life, like, ridiculous. Like, like if we all went out on YouTube and it was like, oh, your videos are the best, everybody's videos would be terrible. But no, we got trolls out there that are like, I'm gonna murder your family, and you're like, oh, I need to make my videos better so this guy doesn't murder my family. Or maybe not murder your family, but it, you know what I'm saying? That's just, I'm, I may be weird like that though, because it's, that's like our, our uh, what is it called? Our tiny chat that we do on Tuesday. Everybody's like, get this troll out of here. I'm like, that troll is hysterical. Leave him in here. It's some guy in a loincloth dancing around. That's crazy funny. But, <laughs> so that's, uh, I'm, I'm in the, uh, the chat room right now. There's a link down here for the chat room. And tomorrow, I should be in the tiny chat. Uh, I'll put a link down there for the tiny chat as well, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price, and there are no pins tonight, we're all caught up! sat down to edit the video and I was like, wait, wait, we have to tell them more stuff, keep them up to date on November. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you, Self, for explaining that better to me. November, the first, and I believe it's the first, and you guys could probably correct me if I'm wrong, but we got the shuttle launch, so that's a Monday. I think I'm going to go out and try to kayak in the uh, Indian River, which is like the intercoastal waterway between the 
uh, mainland, then there's an island, then there's the ocean. There's like a barrier island, and we're gonna try to get as close to the shuttle launch as we can in the water. And there's gonna be uh, like coast guards out there, like telling us to get back, and we're gonna like be like, all right, hold on, no, no, it's going up, we can't turn around now, quick film. But <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. Hopefully, we don't get arrested or beat up or anything, maced in the face. Don't tase me, bro. And then the first weekend in November. I will be camping, and so I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to put up two videos per day when I'm out camping. One video will be from me on the iPhone, which I'm not going to make very long because they are very difficult to edit on the iPhone and very difficult to upload from the iPhone. I shouldn't say that. They're actually quite easy to upload or to edit from the iPhone and to upload from the iPhone. It's just much easier on a full-size computer, as anybody can imagine. But then, uh, but, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to convince Jen to make a video as well each day so that we can have five minutes from me and five minutes from her or you know three minutes from her seven minutes from me something like that you know something crazy we'll figure it out as we get to it the second weekend in November uh, there is a YouTube gathering in Tampa which I probably will not be at because there is something else going on that weekend that I cannot tell you guys about yet but you'll learn about it soon enough and, uh, but Rootberry will be there, um, I think, like, Nathan, WWE, and Doug will probably be there. I don't know about Doug, though. All these people are, uh, uh, David Stinson Music. If you guys haven't checked out David Stinson Music, go check it out right now on YouTube, because it's amazing. Um, and there's probably going to be a lot of other YouTubers there from Florida, so if you, like, think of a YouTuber and you're like, oh, he's from Florida, might be there. You never know. Um... And then the third weekend in November, that's like uh, Thanksgiving, right? If for you guys from the UK or any other country other than the United States, we have Thanksgiving that third weekend of November. And it's Jen's birthday and it's my dad's birthday. So I think we're going to be in Naples, maybe. I don't know yet. <laughs> it all depends on if I have a job. But I think we're up to date now. And then the last weekend in November, I don't know what's happening. I think that is the last. I'm drooling. I'm too excited. I'm done. That's it. Already said the outro. No pins. Bye!